In this video, I'm gonna be surviving the next 24 hours straight in Silver Ridge Peaks. Now, Silver Ridge Peaks is based in the Rocky Mountains, and luckily, it is one of the best maps in the game. It is currently 6 o'clock a.m., and I'll be spending the next 24 hours until it comes back to 6 o'clock a.m. All right, guys, sneaking through the grass right here, I actually spotted our first animals. Now, that one over there is just a female pronghorn, but that one right there is a male pronghorn. He's not that big. He's 200 yards away. I'm taking the shot with my 308 AR-10. Perfect. He shouldn't go anywhere. We'll take her too if we can. Perfect. They should both go down. That's a good start. That's a good start. There's a lot of awesome animals on Silver Ridge Peaks. And so me spending the next 24 hours here, we have the middle of the day to hunt. We have the evenings to hunt. We have the middle of the nights to hunt. We have the morning to hunt. We literally have an entire day to hunt these animals. And so we're going to see a little bit of everything, a little bit of everywhere. Time is at our disposal. We are on the blood trail. Yes, sir. There it is. Piled up. This here is the male. Hit him just barely low to get a heart shot. Then right here is the carcass? That, that is not what I thought it was. I thought this was the other pronghorn. We're actually in a bear zone, so we need to keep our eyes out. Hey, if we can get a bear, we'll take it. Wait. And there's the bear right there. I might be able to see him. If I can see him, I can kill him. We'll find him later. One thing I do like about Silver Ridge Peaks compared to a lot of the other maps is that there's actually a lot of open fields. And especially like right now, during the morning time, you can find things just out in the middle of them eating. And uh, right over here appears to be just a plain old bison. Nothing too crazy, but we're making a stock with my Chinese bow. Let's go. While we're making this stop, let me tell you a little bit about how time works in this game. See, it's kind of like we're at the edge of a black hole. One hour in this game is actually only 15 minutes in real life. So in order to spend 24 hours in this game, I have to sit at this computer for six hours straight. That's not a long time, but it's definitely not a short time. This bison's still just over there, 80 yards away. It's calm. It's feeding. We should be able to get this guy no problem. He's 70 yards away. I'm gonna go ahead and get down, get my bow out. This bow right here is actually one of my favorites in the entire game, and that's simply because of that 700 grain arrow. It's a stinking torpedo. It cuts through big animals like it doesn't seem we're gonna keep moving a little bit closer oh it's attentive we gotta fire fire away yes we hit it oh it's coming at me it's coming at me fire again dude fire until it's dead and it is stinking dead that is what i'm talking about dude didn't even run anywhere because it didn't know what was going on that's the way i like it right there that first shot pretty well dang perfect went through every organ literally in his entire body and that second shot just domed him and then also went through every other organ in his body these big arrows do not stop <laughs> perfect while i'm up here on this hill i called a little bit for elk nothing happened so i started glassing and i see some pronghorn now that one's not yeah that one's actually female but there is a little herd over there they're literally 417 yards away that's super far i don't know if there's much i can do about them we got a black bear straight under us i know i can do something about him show your face and you're dead okay one way or another i'm about to shoot something down here something oh yeah it's another carcass yeah this is the bear we heard earlier we spooked him up a second ago so i may be able to look at here and find him some time has passed and it is now 9 30 in the day i switched locations and now we're kind of up in the high country instead of down in the flats near those ponds we're way up here at literally the tallest peak of the map I've been here for three hours, and not even gonna lie to you guys, this is the most bland three hours I've ever had. I have hardly seen any animals anywhere I go. I think I've killed maybe two or three things total. Oh, there we got some. There we got some. We got a big mountain goat. He ain't stopping. It'll be hard to shoot, but I can do it. I'm gonna just pull out the 308 and hit him hard and fast. I can't try to shoot him and him moving. We have a lot of time. We can wait for him to stop. We'll crouch over here and we'll keep watching them. And whenever they stop, if they stop, we'll be ready to take them. Just to be clear on the rules goodness these crickets are getting on my nerves dude these dang crickets are so loud but just to be clear no i about to these crickets better stop right now i'm gonna shoot them up right here right now where are you and there 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 go the goats this is gonna be a long episode 
We've got a target. It's approximately 400 yards across the lake. The target doesn't know where we're doing. The target doesn't even know we're here. 394 yards away. Pulling out the biggest gun I have. It is not the bow, by the way. Press the wrong button. It is the 300 Win Mag. All I have to say is aim close, hold high. Did it die? Is it dead? Is it dead? I don't think I hit it. Oh, it's dead. He's got a brother over here. We're gonna do the same. Did it die? Is it dead? Is it dead? Did it die? Did it die? I guess we'll never know. We got another target across the way. Target down. Reporting back, we have two confirmed kills. One hit, unknown. Another target moving in. Oh. Two more targets moving in. We got a close target moving in. He's only 200. That's a job for the 308. Plus the 308 actually has it. This is not a gun. Target's over. A rock outcropping in front of me. Approximately 136 yards. Target spotted. Making a move. We're gonna try to make our way up to that big rock right there. And then we're just gonna pop up and pop them. Target's confirmed. Taking the shot. Target down. Scanning for more targets. Squirter, we got a squirter. We got a squirter. We got two squirters. Take them out. Don't let them run. They're both getting away. That's okay. They can't outrun a 300 wind mag. Taking the shot. Okay, shot taken. Moving on to the next one. Got the next squirter. Target hit. Target going down. Target down. I just need to quit playing this one. I just need to go play Call of Duty. I don't know what I'm doing here. Did you see the way I just handled that? Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if I get a call from the Navy just from that. Now. Let's go collect our bounty. Hold up. We got a new target. Let's tag and bag a couple. Then we'll worry about that one across the lake. Cha-ching. Perfect. He's all alone. He's 290 yards. I'm going down. Pulling that 300 wind mag. I want to make this clean. We're going to zero at 328. Hold at the bottom of his leg. And he ain't moving. Now let's reload in case something else happens. We, we just cleaned up out here. Like we are mopping the floor with these mountain goats. They just got waxed. Right here's one. Perfect shot right in the back of the lung. Right here's another one. Hit him in the butt, but he still died pretty quick. Here's another one. Hit him in the leg and in the lung. Right here is the kill that we couldn't confirm, which we now can. Right in the spine. A little high. It died though. Here is another one. Spine shot, it died. And then right here, perfect double lunge. Now, it's actually right around 11.30 in the game right now. So honestly, I think I'm just going to post up in these bushes right here. I'm just going to watch this hill right here and see if anything just decides to come out. Hopefully, we'll get some elk. Because I really want to get in some elk, and I've not been able to yet. <laughs> Nothing ever came. And so we got to keep in mind, it is midday. Most of the animals at midday, they're just going to lay down. They're not really going to do much. They're not really going to move much. So we're just going to have to look over these valleys and see if we can find some bedding down. So far, it's been eight hours in the game, two hours in real life. So, uh, I've spotted a cat. And the cat's attentive. Oh, now it's calm? It's getting positioned. It's actually coming right towards us. But I want to make a good broadside shot. And I don't know how possible that's going to be if he keeps coming towards us. So let's go ahead and reload because we're probably going to take a butt shot. And we're probably going to take like three of them. That cat, dude, just coming straight towards us pretty slow, though. What do we do? Do we shoot it right there? Yeah, we shoot it right there. That's exactly what we do. Heart shot, though. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Reload, buddy. Reload, buddy. He's coming at you. We're getting attacked by a cat. Oh, no. It's dead. It's dead. I mean, a cat for in the middle of the day, he was just strolling through here. I don't even know what he was doing. I doubt he does either. But the first shot was a good shot. Apparently, we missed all the others. So, As for the rest of the midday, honestly, I'm not going to expect much. I'm just going to walk around nice and slow, peek over the valley, see if I can find something bedding up under one of those trees or something like that. And uh, not really expecting much, but whenever it comes over to the evening, here in a couple more hours, that's when it's going to be game time. I've got a good black bear spot picked out. We're definitely heading there in the evening. Hello there, little uh, goat sheep thing. Oh, are we going iron sights? Okay, I can do it. Oh no, this ain't good. This ain't good. I ain't ready for. I ain't good at iron sights. Long story short, guys, I was just chilling here, sitting in a bush, and I seen a pack of goats running at me, possibly with evil intentions. So I opened fire upon them. I'm sure y'all are picking up what I'm putting down. I think I hit one, but I cannot convert. Oh yeah, I hit one. That's nice. I'm I'm really not that far into this challenge. I'm already about to go to bed. Like I'm about to just go face down right here and go to sleep. Take me a little quick nap. Once again, right in the middle of the day, just not a lot happening. But it's 1500 hours and i'm having a hard time finding anything this has been the hardest i've ever had to hunt on this map and
and of course it would be while I'm actually doing a challenge. I'm pretty hopeful that my luck's about to change though. I'm getting in some pretty good areas and well right there we can see a whole pack of little mountain sheep or whatever. You know what? I, I've not had a lot of action. I think I'm just gonna set up and try to take these. They are approximately 200 yards away. That should be easy and the 308 should be able to do it just fine so hold right on them. Hope for the best. All right, we'll wait right here and we'll wait and let them stop. That first shot executed pretty well. Imagine if we had suppressors in this game though. Cause like if I had a suppressor, they probably wouldn't have ran away as fast. They would still run, they'd still be skittish, but they may not have went as far as that. Once I claim this sheep, I think I'm gonna make my way on down to my favorite tree stand and just hang tight until it gets in the evening. We're heading all the way across the map and we're actually gonna go right over here. All right guys, we have a turkey right here. It's set, it's 66 yards. I'm gonna try to take it with a bow because there's another turkey that's right over there. This turkey's a whole lot closer and this one needs to be taken first. That's a tentative. Let's take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Yes! We got it, baby. Perfect. Now the special thing about a bow is that I can look right out there and that other turkey is not spooked at all and it's still coming right our way. I could probably take it right now. I'm just gonna get hit, let him get right up on me. Dude, that was perfect. Turkeys make a lot of money too. I don't know about midday why they're wanting to come out right now, but I'm not gonna complain about it. I just took two turkeys and I didn't spook anything. As for now, I'm sitting up here. I'm just gonna spend the rest of my midday right here. And then later on, whenever it gets closer to dark, I have a pretty good bear spot way up that way. I'm gonna just head up there. Black bear spotted, black bear incoming, black bear 100 yards away. KG hitting black bear call. Let's see if we, oh, that's the wrong call. Let's see if we can get him closer. If we're gonna stay right here in this stand, we might as well try to just take him with the bow and just keep our footprint to a minimum. Oh yeah, he's coming, he's coming, dude. He's 77 yards away. If he can just come right here to this grass, he'll be 50 yards away. I'll take him. I'll be very comfortable taking him with the bow. Oh dang, he's coming in quick. 83 yards, 50 yards. He's still calm. Pull out the bow, guys, it's about to happen. Dude, he's gonna get right up under me. That's a shot I'm willing to take. <laughs> Oh, that's a perfect shot. They ended him immediately. Where in the world did I hit that thing? Now we got something else behind us. You know what? This spot's actually pretty decent. At this point, as long as I just sit still. Oh, dang. Oh, dang, dude, no. There's another bear over there. As long as I just sit still and don't make a ton of movement, this spot's pr pretty sick with a bow. Imagine getting right here in this stand with a recurve bow, compound bow, and a crossbow, and that air gun thing. You could sit here and kill all kinds of animals, and they'd never even know you were here. I didn't even know it, but I actually had this bear coming in. He's hitting us with warning calls. I think if we coax him enough and pretend we're a, a dying fawn, I think he'll come in. We just gotta be watching. I don't know where he went. He disappeared as far as I know. Regardless, stand by. Something else walks out, we'll take it. Wait a minute. Okay, we got a bison close. We might be able to take this bison. The problem is that he's directly downwind. I'll try though. I'm not afraid to take a long shot. Did I just hit that thing? I did, didn't I? I'll try another one. I've definitely never been opposed to taking wild shots, and I'm not gonna stop now. Hang loose, sit tight, we'll make something happen. All right, guys, as you can look over here and see, the sun is just about to go over the hill. I'm gonna jump out of the stand and go pursue a couple animals, so check it out. All right, we got that turkey. He's hanging right at 250, and I'm telling you guys, I've called to him, he ain't coming. As I make my way down there, I might also be able to get in front of this bison, but uh, we do we got to move quick. First thing, I'm just gonna walk around here, grab this turkey, grab that bear grab the other turkey and then we'll go ahead hide in a bush here's this turkey he brought us in 850 cash that's pretty solid here's this bear perfect lung shot got about 950 from him that's pretty solid let's see the turkey's over there bison's over here time to go ahead and start crouching we'll make our way that far i could pull out the 308 and kill them both right now but that's really not what i want to do quick 950 i want to get up close get in a bush Wait for the bison to literally pass right in front of me and then strike him with a seven hundo grain arrow. He's coming straight through here. I'm just gonna try to get in this closest tree right here. Let me just get my bow and get ready. We're gonna be getting right up on him. We just don't wanna get too close to get too greedy. Now, oh my bad. Hello, holla. Indian. Oh, did you just see that? He just juked me out. Put him arrow in what are you doing how far is that thing gonna run oh all right it's down now let's figure out that turkey now right now that thing's 150 he's attentive i just got to get in this tree right here and call him 
So in the meantime, I'm just gonna sit tight. I think he'll come to me. And if he does, just get ready. Because we're gonna kill him. Update. The sun has went down and that tag um turkey hasn't moved. Okay. It's moved. It's going the wrong way. We're going after it. I called, he responded. I called, he responded. He didn't move and now he's going the other way. So we're going after him. Since it is getting kind of dark, I've kind of given up on killing anything else. I think we're just going to pull out the three away and we're going to give him what a taste of you should have came to me tastes like. Yeah, there we go. He should have came to me. We're going to get this bison, get that turkey, and then we're going to head over to my best bear hunting spot right before it gets dark. And then once it gets dark, well, that's when we're going to have to bring out the night vision. Good turkey, though. It's solid. Update. Update. I was just moving into my number one bear spot when I heard a turkey go, ah! <laughs> and I was like, hold up a sec, let me check it out, make sure it ain't an albino. By golly, it's a dang albino. We're going after it. Now, it is directly downwind, but luckily birds don't have noses, so we don't have to worry about it. I think it's a gobbler. This is gonna be crazy. He's right in behind all those thick trees, though, so I don't even know how to start to get him. Definitely pulling out the 308, but first we gotta locate him. Oh, snap, was that him? Was that him? Oh, there's an elk. There's an elk! I've been looking for an elk all day and ain't found one. I ain't even seen one. Let me pull out this bird call. We might be able to get him to come closer to us. That'll be a lot easier, especially in this thick stuff. All right, forget it. We're going in. Don't spook anything, but if you see it, shoot it fast. I should have shot it when I had the chance. <gasps> there he stinking goes. He flew down somewhere. I have no idea where he went. <gasps> there he went. There he went. <gasps> Is that another one? How many white turkeys are there? There's three. There's four. Am I insane? Is there literally four white? Well, at this point, do I even go after them? If there's just like 12 of them, do I, are they even that rare anymore? I'm gonna shoot one just to find out what it was. Yep, they ran up the hill. I don't think I'm gonna chase them. Anyways, let's go on. We'll try to kill a bear. Sorry if I got your hopes up, but. All right, guys, I've made it to my super secret bear hunting spot. I usually don't tell anybody about it because I don't want other people to come here and kill my bears. So I'm actually going to tell you guys just because I know you guys are my, my fans and y'all love the videos. So it's actually over here. But I will say if you somehow make it to my computer and you come here and kill these bears, I will potentially kill you. Maybe that came off a little strong, but don't mess with my hunting spot. But we look over here about 10 feet to the right. There's a bear. Now it is a two minor Pretty solid and everything, but these aren't bow shots. These are rifle shots. So you're practically just gonna get one. Let's go ahead and search the rest of the pond and we'll pick out the biggest bear to shoot it. Um, over there's another bear. It just happens to be a one, not really that big. Let's keep looking. Generally, there's a lot of bears here, especially at dark. There's a deer. There's another white turkey. What is the deal with these white turkeys? We're literally gonna go on a white turkey killing rampage. That tier two might be our best option at this point, which is not a bad option. Yeah, I think we're gonna take it. Let me get in this bush and I might be able to call it. It's dark. We got one more kill before we have to go pull out the nods. Let's see if we can play around with this bear and get him to come to us. We may even call one in from out behind me and come and maul me, bite my face off or something. That'd be cool. <laughs> it's coming. Get ready. We're going to need to be as silent as possible. All right, now let's get ready. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Is he coming? He's being so, he's being, that's so weird. I'm taking it. Long shot. Hollow. Oh, I hit it. Usually if you can hit a bear, dude. Oh, it's down. <gasps> pull out the rifle, pull out the rifle. What are you doing? Pull out the rifle. Oh my gosh. Oh, bum, bum buddy's over here. Don't know, have a clue what he's doing. Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. Did I just miss that shot? I'm, I'm upset with my performance today. I ain't been able to hit nothing. I ain't been able to switch guns. I need to practice that switching to your primaries faster than your secondary stuff. Because I fumbled my gun and I missed an opportunity that if I'd pulled out my... We just got a white turkey, boys. This, this episode's wild. Like, literally anything and everything is happening this episode, and I can barely even see the screen. It's getting so dark. I'm gonna tag and bag this turkey and figure out if it's albino or not. And if it is albino, we'll come back because there's at least 30. Like, I've seen at least eight. At least eight. Probably closer to 16 turkeys. This one's not albino. It's a combined. I don't really know what color that's trying to be, but if anyone asks me, I just killed an albino turkey. And if anyone asks you, you tell them I killed an albino turkey. Anyways, I'm heading back up to my tent because it is about to get wild. I've never actually hunted at night. So this is gonna be my first night hunt. Let's head on up here to this tent and let's get the night vision 
prepped and ready. Okay, so for gear, I think I'm gonna just keep the three away. I mean, it can do about anything, and as long as I'm not going for ethical kills, I can pretty much shoot anything with it. It is this one right here. The Gen Zero 1x4. It's only 1x4, you don't get much zoom, but that's pretty okay. We also have to exchange the binoculars for the Gen Zero night vision binoculars. All right, let's check them out. So out here, it's actually a full moon, which is pretty good, because you can actually kind of see a little bit out here, but you really can't see a ton. You can really see a ton, though, whenever you pull out your night vision binoculars. Then everything kind of turns green. Does it help? Honestly, maybe not. Honestly, I think I can maybe see more without them. Regardless, this is what we have to use though. So let's keep our eye out. I mean, if we can find something, we'll go shoot it. First animal spotted. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know what's up with these binoculars. They're like not clear at all. But here's the scope. It's actually a little bit better, but probably Gen 1. All right, but yeah, we'll make it We'll make it as close as we can, then we'll just shoot it and see what we can do. Hopefully, we can just walk around like a little predator out here, sneaking up on some prey without them knowing. And speaking of predators, we might go down and try to get some mountain lions because they're a whole lot more active and a whole lot more comfortable at night. So we might actually get them to get a lot closer to us. All right, that one's eating. Just from these night vision, you can even see that it's pixelated. I think it's looking towards me. Is that a shot I'm willing to take? Absolutely. What I don't want to do is uh, get a bison charging at me and then like me not be able to see it. You know what? I take, that's actually exactly what I want. All right, he's way out there. Hold on, fire away. All right, he's hit. Put nothing in. With these big game guys, you literally want to shoot them until they stop moving no matter the reason. Because just like this one, I don't know if I killed him or not. I don't know if I hit him in the right spot. My best option was to just keep on shooting. Hunting at night's a lot harder than I thought it would be. I mean, at least it's a full moon, so I can about hunt without anything. Pretty sure he was standing somewhere right over here, so. And there he is, piled up, dude. I like that, bronze. Where'd I even hit him, dude? First shot. Oh, I hit him in the lung. That's what did it. That's nice. I just heard another, I just heard a warning call. I know it's a warning call. I know that he knows where I am. I have a three away with night vision. I know where he is too. Bring it on, brother. Talking about spooky. This is kind of spooky. What the heck is that? Look at those horns. What the heck was that? That's a water buffalo. What is it doing here? Look at that. Are those antlers not huge? Or is that not huge? If I would have been using the right thing, he mean the right spot, that'd probably be a be a gold or something. Maybe even a diamond. I don't know. Long story short, I'm just gonna prowl around. I only have two bullets in my 308 left. Night is actually pretty close to being over. Pretty sure the moon's setting that way. So I'm gonna save these two bullets for the morning. And I'm gonna go over here where we killed that bear and a bunch of the those turkeys get up in that tree stand and just wait until the sun barely just starts coming up okay we're in my trusty little tree stand up here the sun is just about coming up it is 5 15 in the morning and i was looking over there on the hill and i see some rocky mountain elk traveling downtown you know that's the one thing i've literally not seen this entire episode and that i really wanted to see so i think i'm gonna use my two bullets that's left and i'm gonna try to call these guys in and try to just get them up and close they're a little far to call right now but i got my call right here well never mind they're going the wrong way maybe another herd will pass through you never know oh wait a minute we have 30 minutes in game time until it's over i don't have much time i don't have time to wait for another herd i have to go after that herd let's see that's 30 minutes that's 15 minutes real time i don't have that much time 30 minutes in game that's seven minutes i gotta go quick yeah and they're getting away too here we go here we go let's see if we can get something <laughs> Are we going to be able to do it before we end this episode? Am I going to be able to get this elk? I don't know where they're going. I don't know where they are. That makes it tough. Guys, we have three minutes left. Three minutes in real life for me to find these elk and capitalize on them. You can see the sun's right up where it was just about when we started. Oh, there's no way I just found them. I just found him. And there he is. That's the big one right there. All right, we got to make a move. We either got to shoot from here or try to... He's leaving. They're leaving. Get the 308, get the 308, boys. We just gotta make it happen. We have two shots left. We ain't got time to miss. If he's there, take him. He's one of those in the back. I don't have a clear shot. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to call again. I'm gonna have to call again. I need him to move. I just need him to move. 
Where'd he, at? Where'd he go? Is that him? No, that's not him. Is there an elk over there? There's an elk right there. That's him. That's him. That's a good one, too. That could be a gold. That could be a diamond. Take a shot. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I took the shot. I took the shot. I took the shot on that one, too, and I dropped it. Oh, no way. He's not dying. He's not dying. He's not dying. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I got time, and I still got a bullet. Oh, I don't have a scope. No, I have, like... 10 seconds left. No way. Wait a minute. Did I kill it? No, there's no way I killed it. I don't know if I killed it or not, but I got the shot off in time. It's just a matter of did it connect? This is the second one I shot. If I hadn't shot this one, I would have had another bullet to put in him. Man, this one here is a silver and that other one was way bigger. Hard shot luckily put him down. Wait, no, I did. I hit him. I did hit him. If I hit him where I thought I hit him, I hit him good. It, it says I didn't get a vital, but I'm telling you guys, if I hit him with that 308 where I thought I did, he's going down stay tuned guys we're gonna see if we find this bad boy this is the this is the one animal i've been wanting to kill for this entire 24 hours and we finally got up to him right in literally the last 15 minutes of game time oh dude i think he's going down he's losing hell all right he's out in the open somewhere i just gotta find him and put him down that's him that's him way out there he's 275 he's limping all right here we go 300 wind mag can we make can this thing where'd he go is he behind the tree oh no way he moved Send it. Shot felt good. Is he going down? He ain't going down. We're going to make sure we get this guy. Dude, I'm already 45 minutes past bedtime. Something's got to happen right now. There he is. He's stinking down. He's stinking down. Oh, did he break his horns off? Oh, come on. He's a silver. How is this a silver? No vital organ yet. Dude, the scapula. That scapula stopped it from hitting the lung. All right, guys. Long story short, is that a good elk? Honestly, I mean, not really. We just completed the first ever surviving 24 hours in Hunter Call the Wild. Click right over here if you want to see where I hunted every single animal on Parque Fernando or right over here for when I went on an absolute killing spree in Mexico.